Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Wednesday, July the 29th. We will be using the Oracle of the Mermaids all this week by Lucy Cavendish. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message to me that I may share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have telepathy, card number 30. And we have receptivity, card number 3. And we have vulnerability, card number 39. Okay. We see repeated cards. Okay, again, you saw me shuffle the deck. I pull random cards. This message is a message that needs to be emphasized. Like I always say, when cards repeat themselves, the message needs to be heard, and it's somebody out there that's not following the message and needs to be told again. I myself as well is included in this reading. So this is something that I'm working on too. So the message is coming through loud and spirit from spirit that I need to emphasize this today. So let's start out with the first card, telepathy. Okay, and telepathy is two beautiful mermaids holding hands, forming the shape of a heart. How beautiful is that? And it says nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. Okay, when I think of this card and what I get from spirit is vibration. Okay, it's reminding me of a book that I read uh, called Frequencies by Penny Pierce, I believe it was. And everything vibrates, whether it's a positive vibration, negative vibration, vibrations and energies are so prevalent. We might not even realize it. We may walk into a room and all of a sudden feel depressed or sad. It's negative energy that you're picking up on in that room. A lot of buildings hold different energies that are trapped inside. A lot of people hold energies that are trapped inside. And what this card is telling us is non-verbal communication. Yes, like signs, like when you see triple digits. They're messages from your angels. Uh, when I think of non-verbal communication, I think of, like I said, the energy you feel when you're around someone. Uh, the energy you feel when you walk into a building. Okay, These are things that you need to be open to. It's our internal uh, system that is like a, a warning system that picks up on these things, like a, like a radar type of thing to let us know when things just don't feel right, when you have a gut feeling. You can't prove what you're thinking, but you just know it's there. So we're being told to basically pick up on nonverbal communication this Wednesday. Uh, open your senses to these things because they're very, very valuable. They could save you from a lot of heartache. And then we have the repeated message, receptivity, okay? And with receptivity, we have the beautiful, beautiful mermaid. And there's a bird dropping a package right in her hand. And again, this is the card that we got on Monday. And it's telling us to basically, you know, be open to receiving. Somebody out there is just giving, giving, giving of themselves, and not allowing themselves to receive. I don't know if it's a matter of pride or ego. I know myself. I feel funny asking anybody for anything. I'm just an independent person that tries to do everything on their own. But really, people want you to ask them for their help. They feel honored. They feel flattered that you would come to them and ask them for their opinion on something. So this is someone out there, as well as myself, that has to work on that to be, you know, more allowing of receiving from others and not just keep giving all the time. And then the last card is vulnerability, once again. And we have the mermaid being uh, held up by the merman. And this card is saying, open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. Again, don't close yourself off, okay? This card, it was telling us to receive. If you're closed off, you can't receive, okay? And this card is telling us to open your heart. So someone's heart has closed uh, for whatever situation, maybe a, a situation, a person, a thing that took place. 
It's telling us not to close your heart. Because for every person out there that hurt you, there's another person out there that's going to love you. And when that right person comes along, if you're not into receiving the love that they want to give and you're not, your heart is not open, you're going to miss out on a beautiful experience. So don't, don't close yourself off. What a beautiful message. And again, I, you know, I shut down very easily when I feel that I've been mistreated and I clam up and I, you know, I want to shut everything down and I want to close out the world and I want to go lay down and sleep. Uh, but you can't keep your heart open this Wednesday. No matter who did you wrong, there's bound to be somebody else that's going to do you right. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.